Great pleasure to welcome back to What's Next, Ian Stevenson, the Comsol CEO. Now, those of you who don't know about Comsol, uh, it's a Comsol is a leading fixed wireless access provider. They've uh, not, been providing no, cloud no. connectivity and private networks, and they've connected South African businesses for nearly 30 years. And they're working behind the scenes to underpin critical connections for ISPs, ICT giants, and yeah. some of South Africa's largest enterprises. Now, this week, the company announced the launch of a business-focused 5G fixed wireless access solution. And to talk about this, I'm really pleased to welcome back the CEO of Comsol, Mr. Ian Stevenson. Hello, Ian. Welcome back. It's great to see you again. Yeah, I love you seeing you too, Aki, and thanks for having me. Listen, it's a pleasure. I mean, this is a, a big solution, um, and I want to unpack this. Why is this solution significant? And, you know, when you consider that we've already got a number of 5G products in the market that are offered by the different mobile networks in the market, why have you decided to launch this particular solution? Why is it so significant? It's significant because exactly what you said, it's, it's focused on the business. And, okay. uh, and we're going to be delivering a fixed wireless access solution solely for business use. So we're not, there's going to be no consumers on the network. So what that means is um, there's going to be very low contention. Um, uh, it's, uh, it's going to have full, uh, we're giving an absolute uh, SLA on uh, power redundancy. So up to level eight uh, load shedding, um, network will not go down. Uh, the backhaul is fully redundant and installations as uh, full installation, professional installation on the customer site. And uh, we're keeping it simple as far as it's three different flavors. It's a 25 meg, a 50 meg and a 100 meg service. And the reason being is what we've seen, um, especially in the enterprise space, is you've got yeah, you, you, you've got the fiber players that have deployed fiber infrastructure. Then you've got a series of FWA players like us who have deployed infrastructure. But there's a massive market at that low price end. Um, so you're looking, our, our customer base effectively, we're servicing 25,000 businesses. And by opening up a lower ARPU product, um, we're going to open up uh, a further 400,000 customers uh, or opportunities uh, for our business and our partners to connect. Wow, that's uh, that's absolutely fantastic. You're talking my language there, and, and of course you're quite right. You know, the the instability of connectivity today is of major concern. Uh, you know, companies just cannot afford to be offline. You know, whether you've got this as redundancy or whether it's your main you know source of connectivity. You need something reliable, and um, and it sounds pretty impressive. What does the solution actually entail? So the solution entails it's so we've what we've done is we deployed the full ecosystem uh, from the core to the RAN all the way through to the backhaul, and the, uh, and the, as I said earlier. Um, the, there'll be a full installation of a CPE. So what we're doing, um, the product's going to be marketed through our channel. So it's going to be a channel product. Um, and what we're doing is we're allowing the channel to effectively control and manage the product. So what that means is yeah, the issue with cost is when you've got multiple truck rolls to site, we're rolling a truck to site and our channel partners rolling a truck to site, yeah, you, you're increasing costs. So effectively, what we're doing is we're, we're reducing the, the touch, the customer touch, and uh, the delivery is going to be in the hands of our channel partners. So we're going to select certain channel partners, you know, organizations that have had a lot of experience in the, um, uh, in the SME space with LTE services or guys that are, are specialists in the SD-WAN space or even fiber operators that uh, um, require um, something for, for redundancy or to to um, uh, to speed up their quote to cash because these guys will put services in the ground and generally they're waiting for way leaves and they could be waiting for months. They got the order for a service so they can go and put this in as a redundant service but can go in straight away. They control the installation. They deploy it. It's very, very cost effective um, and customers live and when the fiber goes in or other services go in, if anything else fails, generally this will be, uh, will be able to, to stay live. That's very, very cool. Now, Comsol has been active. You guys have been quite active in, and you've been an active player in the 5G private network space over the last few years. 
Now, is is five G uh, FWA an evolution of the private five G solution that you've deployed in private networks? Yeah. So we've had we've obviously got our FWA, our national FWA network, which is a proprietary platform. Um, so um, as you as you correctly say, we've been very active in the private five G um, space for a number of years now. Um, and what we've learned from that is uh, yeah, when you deploy private 5G networks, generally we're talking about you deploying infrastructure on a mining site, open cost mining with this blasting. And effectively, it's life saving technology. There's a lot of health and safety in these environments and you, and you need mission critical comms. So uh, communications are able to be delivered with high SLA. So what we've done is we've taken all the learnings that we've taken from our private 5G delivery space and we've applied it into uh, what we're about to do now and, uh, and uh, with the same quality. Okay, that's, that's very cool. Now, having access to the biggest tranche of uh, 3.7 gigahertz spectrum in South Africa, that surely must make Comsol one of the front runners for 5G services in the country because that's a, it's a great piece of spectrum you've got there. Yeah, so we've got, we got effectively two pieces of spectrum. We've got our millimeter wave 28 gigahertz uh, band, which we've got 280 megahertz of that. And that's what we've deployed our national uh, FWA network on. And then we're going to be overlaying with uh, our 3.7, which is going to be 5G for the business, as, as I've said already. Um, and with 60 megahertz, we're able to deliver uh, quite a lot of capacity. So, yes, I could be selling services at around 300 megabits, but we're not doing that. I mean, we believe... That the market is is ripe. Yeah, you, you kind of general requirement for an organisation is around 100 megabits uh, of, of service. So we're, we're sticking to that. And with with the 60 megahertz 3.7, we're, we're well able to deliver enough capacity because of the spectrum allocation, but also to ensure that customers get what they pay for. And and what about performance, Ian? Um, during extended power outages, obviously. Uh, that's uh, that, that's pretty uh, you know intense as well. Um, how, are you affected at all by those power outages? How do you deal with with the power outages? Yeah, so our base station is a small form factor, so we don't require cooling, um, and that's a big uh, that's a big power drain. Um, we do have, as I said, our other network that, that is also live, and this is an overlay on that. So what we've had to do is we've had to invest considerably in, in battery infrastructure, and we have uh, effectively have 24 hours of um, autonomy on all our sites. Oh, so wow, um, normal load shedding cycles and enough battery uh, capacity to withstand the recharge because that's the biggest issue is you, you, you can have, uh, um, you'll have different levels of load shedding coming in. Can you recharge your infrastructure quick enough to, uh, to combat the next stage of load shedding? So with the 24-hour uh, buildup of redundancy in the ecosystem, um, power outages aren't going to be an issue. But that said, I mean, you do get mass outages where sure. you'll have days where power goes down. And there's going to be the odd instance where sites do go down. And also we'll have instances where our backhaul goes down because uh, we, we're reliant on our backhaul providers. So what we've also done to ensure site uh, autonomy for, 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 the for the communication medium is independent fiber operators. So, for instance, we'll have operator A and operator B terminating on our base station. So uh, hopefully there's, there's uh, um, different routes. And, and then also... in. On top of that, we'll generally uh, utilize microwave for our own redundancy to another base station. And, and that's it. It's about uptime. And, and that's, what, that's what businesses require. Organizations have the majority of the applications in the cloud. And everything's in the cloud. If, if connectivity goes down, business goes down. Uh, organizations yeah. can't make card payments. You can't get into ERP platforms, et cetera. That's pretty impressive, Ian. Um, so, so you've got the power sorted out. You've obviously got the redundancy on your side sorted out. Can you talk a little bit about the infrastructure you've built to deliver those 5G services? You mentioned the towers. You've got power going to those particular towers. Talk to me about the infrastructure. So um, the, first, the first phase is Gauteng. So Gauteng's live effectively now. Um, so the whole of Gauteng is live, and then we're going to be deploying the rest of the network nationally over the next year, and that's going to be in phases and all two business business districts. So 
Um, what that entails is obviously the, the core in Gauteng is live and um, we have a redundant core that will be situated in one of the Terracos, uh, Terraco Cape Town. Um, so we've got full redundancy on, on the core. And then um, as far as the installation goes, the infrastructure that goes into the customer site, what we're doing is because it's a channel model and uh, we, we're kind of doing things very differently. We can do the whole thing for the, for our channel partner. We can go and do the whole delivery, supply the CPE, uh, install the CPE, uh, commission the customer. But effectively, what what uh, channel partners want to do is they want to be they, they want to be engaging with the customer and they want to be doing uh, mm. yeah, um, uh, getting the, the customer live. So they want to be doing this, the, the work on site themselves. So we're allowing them to do that. Um, uh, and also we're allowing them to source their own CPE. So we've got a whole series of different CPE devices, the customer premises equipment, and they can decide what product, what version of CPE they want to use. So for instance, uh, a coffee shop or a retail outlet will require a CPE with built-in Wi-Fi because it's, uh, uh, they want that uh, for, for their card machines and things like that. But you could also, you could have an organization that's using it for redundancy and you've got the CPE going into a 19-inch rack in a basement. There's no requirement for Wi-Fi on the CPE. So you'll be deploying a cheaper indoor unit. So effectively just a POE on the indoor device. So um, we've we've left it uh, left it open on the uh, on the customer side, but where a lot of the investment and a lot of work's gone into is is on the the core and the infrastructure, keeping it live and ensuring that we can do different things on the core. And something else we've done very differently here is generally these services four G five G are all layer three services, but what we've done. For the channel is we've actually engineered through our core is we're able to deliver layer two service and no, none of the other operators can do that. This is uh, very very impressive, Ian. Just just uh, tell us again where is Comsol's five G FWA available? You mentioned Gauteng. Have you covered the whole of Gauteng and which other areas is it available in? So we've done. We've got a test site in in Natal. And that's been our POC site. Um, we've got around 300 customers live on that. Um, but as I as I as I've stated, this is a business product, so it's the business districts within Gauteng. So it's not the whole of Gauteng. Okay. Yeah, we're not. Focused, this is not a consumer product um, because we don't want to. Uh, as soon as you start delivering consumer services, yes, you you can, but you've got to be very careful ab um, uh, about your contentions. Mm -hmm. And it's about I'm giving a commitment. So. The two commitments that we're giving is we're giving an SLA on the committed information rate. So if you buy a 100 meg service, you're getting a 100 meg service. Or right. if you buy right. a 50 meg service, you're getting a 50 meg service. It's not you're getting a 50 meg service and you might get 30, you might get 50, you might get 55. This is you are getting 50 megs. Okay. And then we're giving an SLA on power. And not many people are doing that. So, um, so in Gauteng, in the business districts, um, we've got a very good name uh, in the market um, uh, for for the our traditional FWA service that we deliver, which is kind of a premium service. Um, and this is going to be hedged at around, you know, it's going to be marketed below the thousand rand mark. Um, wow! Uh, so an end user is going to be able to buy the service for uh, under a thousand bucks. That's impressive. And and you know, you consider the fact that uh, it's a business product. Uh, so your SLA is higher, the throughput is higher, the you know, it, you know, it, this is a business product, which is amazing. So if somebody is watching us right now, Ian, they're saying, listen, I need this for my business. How do businesses buy this service? And, and, and also I want to ask you, how quick is the turnaround time from, from the order to going live? Where does somebody get in contact with Comsol? How does somebody get this business into, get this service into their business? Yes. So... <laughs> Yeah, Comsol's not the, the name's not really in the public domain. I mean, it's not like a, a, but but what you'll you'll find is generally through um, all the major inter network integrators, um, large ISPs, you'll be able to buy our service and you can ask for the service. But th there's also going to be a marketing campaign that's, that's kicking off right now, where we're actually going to be announcing who our partners are, so they can go onto our website, uh, Comsol.co.co.za. Uh, and there'll, there'll be a list of um, uh, of channel partners there. So there's only going to be um, certified. We're not going to allow any channel partner to service uh, and support this product because it requires yeah it requires quite a lot of input from the channel partner. 
Um, uh, so, uh, but we, it is going to be, you're going to know who to go to. I mean, and we're going to let people know that. Gee, that's amazing. That's uh, congratulations. Uh, it sounds like a, like a very, very interesting service. So just to, to touch on it, um, you're going to expand to other areas. Just tell us about those speeds again. I think you said 25, 50 and up to 100 you go. Or do you go higher than 100? Yeah. So it, it, doesn't sound, it doesn't sound very exciting. <laughs> we could no, be coming it's in exciting to me. And, 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 selling, and selling 300 meg services. And, uh, uh, but yeah, it, it's, about, uh, it's about the experience on the network. And as I said, it's, um, it's about the contention. So it's, it's effectively three product rates, um, data rates. It's the 25, 50, and 100, and that's it. Um, you be able to buy it, a layer three service or a layer two service, however you want uh, 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 to buy the service, wow. um, and uh, and utilize it for redundancy, utilize it as primary, and yeah, proofs, proofs in the pudding. Uh, and well, we're and, hanging and, our hat on this. We really are. Well, listen, congratulations. Your pricing is good. You've got excellent SLAs. Wishing you lots of luck with the new product. Uh, Comsol CEO Ian Stevenson joining us for this episode of What's Next. If you're looking for that 5G solution that's affordable, that uh, you can use as a main connectivity for your business, or you want to use it just for redundancy, take a look at Comsol's 5G FWA offerings. It sounds very, very appealing. Thank you so much for your time, Ian. Thanks, Aki. Appreciate it.